welcome to Elevate Biz once again, a program where we get to talk about different businesses here in Enugu and the Southeast generally. Businesses, crafts, talents, all. We have them here with you. Remember, I am still your host, Ndulue Joan. Today with me, I have the CEO of Della Beauty, Miss Stella. It is so lovely to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I hope it wasn't you. too difficult to get here. No, no, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. it wasn't. I know prior to now, you were telling me that you were kind of nervous about this. But yeah, then but I'm like, fine. You're fine now, right? Yeah, now. I'm but very fine. But just going to flow and yeah, talk. Exactly. And just, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, um, Della's Beauty, for, first of all, uh, the name sounds really unique. I don't know if that's, uh, like another of your name or just something you came up with okay my name is stella yeah so if you move the st you get the e-l-l-a okay so that okay. that is the ella in the ella part. okay so how did the d now come to this you <laughs> wanted to make it sound balanced <laughs> you know <laughs> okay okay yeah. actually you find it's really interesting i think it's Thank a unique you. unique thing Thank so um you. would you tell us about your business and how we started everything about your business i wanted to do the formal introduction of what you are into but i feel okay. like it's best to hear it directly from you Okay, so I got into Enugu and I was thinking of what can I do? So I said, okay, I love makeups. Let me start selling makeup. But how do I start? Where do I go about? I don't know people in Enugu. Yeah. So I started with a container. A, con a, a container. container. Uh, what does container? <laughs> a have? container, like... I okay. Iron container. Okay, okay. We used to call that in something different in where I'm from. Hey, I've even forgotten the name. Sir. So caravan. Caravan. That was good. good. <laughs> yeah, so container, I was kind of. Okay. So yeah. I started with it. Um, I noticed it was a little bit slow because of the um, makeup artist. Everybody is a makeup yeah. artist. So yeah. I was like, okay, what can I do again? Okay, so when you had that place, you were only doing makeup. Me only makeup. Okay, okay. So I now went into training. Yeah. I learned how to make nails. Naturally, yes. I love how to make nails. Okay. But I needed to be extra really good. good at yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So I left town. I traveled. I went for, I stayed for like six weeks to learn. So I did that. To learn where? Nails. To learn where? Don't worry about that. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> you guys, it's not that like he's holding information now. So, well, like, go hold information, but okay. so I came back, I moved from the container now, yeah. from, uh, right. from the caravan mm -hmm. to um, in Otiba, okay. opposite Dolphin, yeah. you know. So I stayed there, from there I moved to where I am presently. Okay. Yeah, okay. still Otiba. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so what do you do, basically? Um, Everything. Because I nail know technician. Now, yeah, I know before now you told me you're into nails, but then you also do other things yes, as well. So yes, yes. Body piercing body and piercing tattooing. And tattoos, yes. Which is actually really interesting for me now because, you know, um, here in Enugu, or not just Enugu, Nigeria generally, yeah. they have this, how do I put it, orientation about... Uh, piercings and tattoos i feel like it's the whole thing that comes with uh, the christian religion or stuff like that people trying to be morally inclined, inclined and stuff yeah. like that. But then, i feel like you're making your own money and it's not illegal you get so this is what we want to discuss how exactly um you make profits from what you do and how you know business has been generally for you but then we're going to break it down actually okay. so um tell us so far so you said from the nails what what then happened what now gave you the inspiration personally i love tattoos and i love yeah. um, piercings okay so, so i went into it that's all okay so before then you already had some some before i, I mean we can see tattoos yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like before that i had three tattoos which i got in 2007. okay before you even started the whole name yeah, yeah 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 so um, i had three tattoos and little few piercings okay yeah were they like um, symbolic kind of tattoos Do they represent something or uh no 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 they don't okay they, they don't something. they don't okay. yeah. so that's when you you decided to so we are in inugu is your business located presently yeah it hours plaza okay otiba roundabout just at the roundabout okay so in there people can come in to have their nails fixed yes can come in exactly they can come exactly in for the whole exactly. so do you do you have any employees or do you yes, I do. Solo? I do. do? Wow, mm. that's really nice. <laughs> the big I woman looking <laughs> looking at a big woman. Guys. <laughs> so, like, how many are we? How, how are we? Like, okay, I have honestly? a lash tech. A lash tech. Yes. Wow, this is because this really interesting name. This <laughs> lash <laughs> technician. <laughs> Like when I was talking to somebody, mm -hmm. I don't know if, if it's that like the person has not really heard of the word nail tech. Mm -hmm. And the person was like, 
I don't understand. Why is the the word take close to nail? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's what they call it these days, mm-hmm. though, because so now you're also saying that there is lash, a lash tech. Yeah. Lash tech. Mm-hmm. So someone that is like an expert. Yes, yeah, she's in good. Fixing yeah, lashes. Yeah. Wow. So there's a difference between how I have fixed my own and how I'm how she yes exactly. <laughs> that's really interesting, you guys. Okay, so like, do you provide home service? Yes, I do. Okay, so I've how does, done a how whole does lot. Um, if you want me to come maybe to your hotel mm-hmm. or maybe to your house. Yeah. So you're going to pay extra. Okay. That's then just you come it. There with all your yeah, everything, yeah, 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 yeah. And do that. Okay, so um, for having your business here in Enugu State, because one important aspect of our show is promoting Enugu State and promoting business owners in Enugu State. So let's talk about um, why Enugu? Why Enugu? Like, did you just stumble on it? Did, have you always been in Enugu or did you just make a decision no, no, no. to start business no. here? I came to Enugu by marriage. Okay, okay. So that's what kept me in Enugu. Okay, okay. So in Enugu, um, how has the turnover been so far? It's it's not been easy because um, like they they normally say the best place for this your kind of business is in Lagos, it's in Abuja. Yeah, okay, you why understand? did they say that though? I think there are more people market people. more market there and okay. and they are <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. They they are more enlightened. Enlightened. Yes. Enlightened how you mean the customers or the business owners? Customers. Okay. Mm. So what does that like most of the customers here will not read about the kind of body piercing they want, for example. Okay. They just come and say Yes, but it a Lagos person knows what she wants, okay. what he wants. You okay. understand? Yes. Yeah, so part of your like for example, now, somebody will come and tell me they want a septum piercing. Septum piercing is here. And they'll tell me, ah, why are you using a needle? Man, how can I use a gun on your nose? <laughs> it doesn't a make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body. So I tell people, before you come to get your stuff done, read about it. Okay. Uh-huh. So, but then in Enugu, people are more enlightened, and then they'll just go straight to the point. They are right? not enlightened. They just sorry, come. In Lagos, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. So they just come. So what I do is, before I pierce you, I'll start educating you. All right. Uh-huh. So you said... According to you, Enugu has just been fair enough. You put yeah, it in fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Okay. So, like, how do you um, advertise your business? How do you let people know what you um, do? Instagram. I tell majorly people. Majorly through Instagram. Yeah, majorly through Instagram. So, I tell people, and if I'm good to you, you tell the next person, referrals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, but from the beginning, when your social media, because I know I went through your account, mm. it's already booming. Mm. When it hadn't really gotten to that level, it was mostly referrals. Yes, and it was a big struggle. Can you tell us that? <laughs> it was a big struggle. I will, I will want to make your nails for free. Oh. Just for me to get a picture mm-hmm. so I can post online. Yes. So my main purpose then was I needed that picture. I needed that picture. Okay, mm. okay. But then obviously, besides being um, a nail tech, and you do body piercing to and it has two mm. artists. Which of them really appeals to you more? Because I feel like um, they're a very artistic person. Piercing, piercing is less stressful. Because it's less stressful. Okay, so just like go straight to the point. Straight, yeah. Yeah. So like, how do you, <laughs> how do you make this feel comfortable? Because somebody like me, I try. I do admire it. So I try I so like much. If you go through my Instagram more. page, I laugh with my customers. I make them feel relaxed, like. Oh, it's not painful. Like it's not painful. Me, well, it's painful, yeah, you yeah, know. So I pass. want. To. Yes, yes, but yes. But they let us be frank. Mm. Yeah, now on a scale of like one to ten, how painful is it? Yeah, there are different kinds of piercings. There are different kinds of piercings. Yes. Which so means there different. different kinds of yes, yes, yes. Oh wow! Mm. Which one would you say is the most painful? One? Nipple piercing. Oh my God! Because you do that, you guys. Yeah. No advice. <laughs> well, if you like, no problem. What about the one on the tongue? I think um, tongue that. is not painful. Yes. The pain is just for three days. Okay. But when you're getting it done, it's not painful. Okay. But when you're getting it done with me, I give you drugs to go with. Okay. To reduce the pain. I see. Uh. So then, um, let's talk about the safety and the security measures that you okay. take in your business. Because I know it's a very, since it has to do a lot with the human skin. Yes. I feel like there are a lot of uh, safety and security measures that should be taken while you, while you do it. So like... What are these things? Let's well, let me just break it down. Let's talk about um, security, for example. Is it just everybody that wants to have a tattoo that you just no no no? Okay, first of all, I will check out your skin. Let me use a belly button as an example. Mm-hmm. Those people that have this uh, belly button that is out, yeah, 
I don't pierce them. So once you come, I tell you, let me see your tummy. If okay. it's out, I won't pierce you. Okay, because it could... It if could you don't have enough something. skin, I won't pierce you. Okay. Just like when it comes to nails. If I see your natural nails is really bad, I won't fix. Oh. No matter how much you're paying me. Okay, because it will, it will, yes. It will so people have done their nails. They know I take my time to clean your cuticles very well. Yeah. That's my most important. So if your nails are very soft or it has, or you've used your teeth to remove them, I won't fix you. Ah, that's really nice. Okay. Yes. I mean, there are some people that will just, please, I just want Then when it comes to um, the piercing, I yeah. make sure I sterilize. I make sure I open my needles in front of you. Okay. Every person new yes, set of needles? Yes, new set of needles, yes. Okay. So, and I make sure I sterilize my forceps. Okay. So, but um, concerning the nails, for example, now, like, like I was saying before, there are some people that will not even mind telling you, okay, your nails are too fragile or they are too small. All they just want is their money. So, like, how has it been for business? Do you, is it affecting you in, in any way? That it will affect me, but I'm trying to, to make you... Okay. I don't know. I, yeah. I just want you to have the best, so... I feel like that's something that yeah, business yeah, yeah. owners that are into this should also take note of. I think it's important to let your customers know exactly. the, the risk involved for stuff like that. Then when we're talking prior to now, we're talking about, um, you, you mentioned something about a consent document that some people could Yes, sign. yes. Yeah. So once age. you're below age, okay. let me just use the word 18. 18, uh -huh. okay. 18 okay. below that's and you really come good. to get a piercing, to get a tattoo. <laughs> uh -uh. What if I call if my you, parents? Yes, no problem. Okay. There's a, a woman came with her daughter Are you and her son. I think the daughter, 13 years, she got her belly button. They are not Nigerians. Okay. Mm, because I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> they are white. Okay. So they came, they got their belly button pierced. And again, after the son finished his, I think, secondary school or whatever, he got his ear pierced. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to come with your parents. Okay. So, but then in Nigeria, have you had any kind of, or in, in have you had any problem any parents like coming? That? Yeah, no, parents no, 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 coming. not at all. Not it's at really, all. really not at all. Of course. Yeah, so um, I know that after the piercing is done and the tattoo, there's some sort of aftercare routine that they should do. Yes, should I do. do. So, I do give that. Yeah, so like, what was it about? It's about following the instructions I give you. Every yeah. piercing has its instruction. I keep using the belly button piercing because it's more um, rampant, rampant here. Now, I will tell you, if you get your belly button pierced, no waist trainer, okay. no swimming. Mm -hmm. No swimming? <laughs> yes. Is it because it could get exposed to all like The why? Um, solution they add in that okay. water, okay, it's not good. It's not yeah. Good. And there are some plus 18 things. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I understand. Yeah, I understand. so you don't need to do some certain things. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then for the tattoo though, mm -hmm. what kind of um, treatment comes with that? We just apply something. No, there's, a, there's a treatment for it, less, okay. yeah, an ointment. Okay. That's really nice. I feel like before, before doing that. And you don't scratch your tattoos. If not, they could swell up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like, but then I think I heard that there are some tattoos that are permanent and there are some that are not permanent. Yeah, yeah. Could you share a right. light on that? Like, the permanent one, like you want it to be permanent. If you want like to remove forever. it, yes, forever. Yeah. Like my tattoos are forever. Are you serious? So if I want, if you make a decision to remove this now, you can't. I can with a laser. Okay, then that will be painful. Yes. Because more than getting a tattoo. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then if you want to like change the how it looks. You can still rework on it then. Mm. Maybe you want to maybe. It's like, another part of difficult that, job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because, you know, for some people now, they'll go and tattoo their girlfriend or their boyfriends in the morning. Uh, and then they now break up. They now uh, want to change. They can change else. it. Or they can clean and still add another tattoo on top okay. of it. Okay. So the temporary one lasts for, like, how long? Uh, Is it just, like, ink that maybe after you beat it to remove? No, 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 no. I know that there are innocent viewers that don't know. I'm just trying to break it down to the best. Uh, those ones component. are more like um, henna. Okay, but it doesn't stay up to six months. Okay, uh, that I think that henna stays like weeks or mm -hmm. something. Although I've not gotten one though. <laughs> neither have I, neither have I. But then I really, really enjoyed hearing this from you. I think uh, before we continue, you guys would go on a short commercial break. So please do not stay anywhere. So when we come back, we'll properly dissect. <laughs> Well, 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, you're still on to Elevate Base here at Crips TV, and I'm your host, Ndulue Joan. Um, we're still here with the CEO of Della Beauty, Miss Stella. Yeah, so uh, we've spoken at length about your business and, um, you know, what generally you are into and how Inugo State has affected it. Yeah. So I think now we should talk about the challenges that you experience as a business owner here in Inugo, both the challenges you experience on a day-to-day on a day-to-day -day level and how the state generally has been like for you in business? Okay, the challenge is actually is um, the pricing mm -hmm. and sometimes the manner of approach. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, the pricing, they'll say the lab beauty is expensive, yeah. the lab beauty is this, and people, be, other people, other body piercers, yeah. Or, or the, now I don't want to use nail technicians because nail my higher nail colleagues they yeah. they were there before me yeah. so they are That's pretty on the highest standard yeah. yeah so but the piercing market is what I really entered into yeah. I had uh, somebody I look up to but I don't know if she still does that anymore yeah I still refer people to her okay. you know but she doesn't know <laughs> so. Now the challenge is the the pricing is I cannot go down because I buy those stuffs and when you come and tell me how it's pricey I'll tell you what and what is included yeah. and when you come and see my packages you'll be like oh it's actually worth it it's worth it yeah, yes because then it also comes with the yes yes yes, yeah. yes 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 but then do you think that um, the state or the south generally has a lot to do with the pricing do you think that people will, like so sort of price this Low in other yes, yes, Does yes, yes. It's the state because if you go to Lagos and Abuja, they yeah. are higher than what I do. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and they will still go there and pay that price. But when they come to Enugu, they feel the East are not enlightened. Okay. So once they come here, they was like, ah, uh -uh. yeah. See, this is the reason why our work is not appreciated. <laughs> Even if we are doing like the bomb, they'll still come and be mm. like, yeah, I understand that. Anyways, so um. I think you also mentioned something about um, customers not following the process that they are supposed to. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Like you tell them, okay, see what and what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Don't do this, do this, and they will not do it. Yeah. Maybe I don't blame them though because of the daily challenges of life. Like they wake yeah. up, they will forget to apply their aftercare. They'll come back, they'll get so tired. And they will come back to me and tell me, ah, Della, see, oh, this place is swell, you know, this place is swell, you know. Okay. I'll tell you, what did you do wrong? And at the end of the day, they will say, okay, it poured away. <laughs> My aftercare poured so away. So poured away and you So now, what I now tell them is, if you're leaving this door, mm -hmm. if this aftercare pours away, you're going to give us an amount of mm -hmm. money to buy another one. Yeah, because yes. that should be it now. Will you uh, give them some free of charge? Uh -huh. So like, you ask another person. You'd have to replace it, yeah. Set yeah, I wanted to know, like, how long... Like you said, some of them take longer than some. Yes, yes. Um, cartilage takes like four months. Cartilage, you mean like your ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you buy the aftercare, that doesn't mean it's going to stay till four months. Oh. It will finish. So once it finishes, come back and buy another one. Yeah. But they won't. They'll fit as healed. Oh. Just uh -huh. like I got a call today, she was like, Ah, oh, my, my piercing has healed though, but I noticed something came up. I thought that come and buy an aftercare, it's not the ring, you're not mm -hmm. reacting to the ring. Yeah, so and then you also said one can even take up to a year. Yes, which is the belly button, one year. Because it's a very sensitive healing. part of the body, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's understandable. So, um, how does the economy, because you know what we're experiencing Yeah, now, it, it, it affects, but sometimes I have to be truthful. I buy my stuffs in large quantities, okay. so I'm still on my old price. This new, I mean, if I can give you a piercing of 10,000 Naira with this new economy, if I say, let me increase it to 15,000 Naira, I'm, I'm pitying people. Like, how are they going to pay me yeah. with that, pay that 15,000 Naira? So, we will, I still have my old stock. I still have my yeah. old rings, my old needles, my, well, you know, you yes. That, but yeah. I want them, like, if this thing finishes and I'm going to market to buy another stuff, mm -hmm. I'm adding even if it's 1,000 Naira to 2,000 Naira. Yeah, because things are not, mm. are not the same anymore. But most of the um, economy challenges goes with your supplies, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. So that's how you usually have exactly. Yeah, that's quite understandable. You also mentioned something about the competition in... Um, in Ugo State, I feel like that's more on the nail side now. Yeah, right? More on the nail more side, the yeah, nail yeah, side. yeah, yeah. So how do you how do you cope with it? Do you just? I don't. Um, everybody have their own uh, clients, yeah? Okay, yeah. Now my own that's clients are more of nursing mothers, bankers, mm -hmm. 
nursing mothers yes nursing mothers what nursing mothers like very short nails now. okay very short okay i thought you wanted to talk about okay. very short nails yeah. bankers very short nails yeah that's true uh, they have to all the time. mothers matured mothers mm. do, do very short nails okay. so i remember one of my girlfriend i wasn't in town my girlfriend went to make her nails somewhere else yeah. then the guy now said please go if you want short nails go to Della beauty <laughs> you understand yeah, so because if you first yes no yes one, yes yeah. okay but then for the piercing and the tattoo like what kind of people come for? Are they just young? Young ones, young yes, people? yeah, yeah, young people, okay, yes, yes. Okay, okay. If you're if you're if you're mature and very old, you want to get a tattoo, like ah, <laughs> it's not me. Yeah, okay. There are some people that you cannot. Yes, now I mean, yeah, why are you getting a tattoo true. at old age for? Is it because the skin is weak or because? No, I f I feel it's not, not necessary. necessary. Yes. But you know, so sometimes it can be symbolic to some people. It, no, you must, you, must have, me, uh, you must show me. You must show me. Your wife died. Do you okay. want to put the dates? <laughs> or your husband died? You want to put the dates? You understand? Okay, uh -huh. okay that's understandable. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, we've already spoken about the pricing though and everything like that. But then, generally, would you say it's a business that um, someone should be looking forward to do long term? Yes, I encourage. Yeah, I remember you saying um, a part into the society, right? Yeah. Now I encourage young girls. To do something with their hands yeah so work. sometimes i train them for free sometimes i train i if i'm to train you for 100k i slash it 50. Okay, you also offer training yes i oh, do okay would you highlight that so i trained my lash tech oh and she's very good at it i i let i tell people you have to be an everyday pay an everyday income is yeah, important it's important yes, yes. And stuff like this can also fetch you an everyday day. Yes, yes, because, exactly. I mean, most times you have customers. Exactly, every day. exactly. Yeah, so. Not every guys. day. Okay, not every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, there are some but days. Like, you do like there are some days, days you just come out, no customer. Uh, yes. But I don't feel discouraged. It's not, yeah, no, no, you, you don't have yeah. to be. Because sometimes business is. It's not like rosy that. always. It's not. Yeah. Mm. Business, business is always like, especially mm. for that of an entrepreneur. Mm. It's mm. always like that. Okay, I think uh, we've exhausted, you know, most of the things I will have to talk about today, mm -hmm. if not everything. Right. It's really, really interesting having you here, though. Really Thank interesting you. having you there. So, um, personally, on your own, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, movies, just go down to the person. Movies, movies, games. Ooh, with my yeah. phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a game out. Okay, okay. So, what kind no, of movies do you phone. like? Uh, romantic movies mm. that will cry. <laughs> you don't like horror <laughs> movies? I do, but not always. Mm. Me, I've done a lot movie. of um, horror movies making. I've seen them. Maybe, so it doesn't scare okay. me. Yes, okay, yes, yes. Okay. You mean for like the Western ones or here in there? Because you know, no, no, our no, movies here, they're the one that's like, it's not even the same. It's outside of Pakilaba. Okay, so then what I've seen watch? a lot of making, so horror movies doesn't scare me. Mm. I mean, the only time I can watch horror movies is when we're like 10 in the room. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's it, yeah. Mm. So thank you so much, Stella, You're for welcome. coming on board to the show. I really, really enjoyed it. All right. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, remember this is still Elevate This here at Crips TV. And then we're done for today. I really hope you enjoyed uh, today's show. Remember, we're about bringing different businesses to your doorsteps here in Inuku States and the Southeast generally. Until I come your way next Next time, remember to like and comment and share. I am still your host, Ndulu Joan. Bye.